What's up everybody, Dr. Craig Engstrom here, but you can just call me Craig because I know how to make really cool looking images right in Microsoft Bing, and today I'm going to show you how to do it. So if you have to create cards in Canva like we have to do for all of these awesome trainings going on in the Center for Teaching Excellence, you can do that. Particularly, we're interested in this one here. How did we do it? Well, what you're going to do is if you're in Microsoft Edge browser, you're going to go to a new tab and you're going to go ahead and search for Bing Image Creator, or you can go ahead and just place into the browser bing.com forward slash create. It'll take you to this magical world created in partnership with Dolly, and that is an image generator from prompt engineered AI. And you're just going to type in there, create me an image in the Saluki dog in the style of Frida Kahlo or whatever it is that you want to create in the style of, and you're going to go ahead and click enter. It's now going to start generating that for you. For illustration purposes, I've already created a few. And if you think these images are just amazing, go ahead and hit that like button because it will help out the algorithm push this to more people. Anyway, there's so many cool looking ones in here. I kind of like this one here and I kind of like this one here. Let's say now what I want to do is go ahead and share it. I like this one. A couple of things I can do. One is I can add it to a collection, which is great, which is just a really cool tool in Microsoft Edge. Go up here. I'm going to click on collections. You can see it's a great way to save entire web pages, not just bookmarks. You can visually see them. So I've added some images there. I can actually click on it and I can share from here. I can get the link. I can download it. I can even customize it some more. Or let's say that I want to share this entire page with my team. What I can do is right click and I can go ahead and click share here. And I can now click to Outlook. It'll open up there or I can click the default Mel app. It's going to open up my PWA app, which is just basically a browser based version of Outlook that sits right in your icon tray in Microsoft Edge. Once that's populated, you can go ahead and type out some notes to some people, for example, I might just add in this little note and I can now send it to whoever I would like and they'll get a link to that page of that images that I've created as you can see. So that's actually pretty simple to do. You can also just FYI if you're ever creating something for a presentation or you want to share it quickly to another device in Microsoft Edge you can do that by going up here and I can click here and it'll send it to my devices. If you have a TV connected to it, you can then screencast right to a TV. So if you're in a classroom with a TV that's connected to your device, or you can actually share it as a QR code by just clicking there and then students could take a snapshot of it or whoever you want to take a snapshot, or I can download it and put it into a presentation that would send people to this page. The good news is you can do that for any page. So for example, if I'm on this, how to create a QR code page in Microsoft Edge, I can go ahead and just right click it and I can create that QR code there or I can go to share. And in this case, let's say that I want to share it to my LinkedIn network. Click on share post. And there you go. I'm ready to type out a message and then share it to my network or share it to whoever I would like to. Okay, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. And I didn't show you one thing. I didn't show you two things, but I showed you three things. How to create cool images, how to share it with a QR code, and how to share it with the share right click. Oh, and I even threw in how to add it to collection. So I shared four things. If you liked doing this and create your own images, I would love it if you would post something as a reply to this video so we can get others sharing cool ideas. And until the next video, I do hope that you have a wonderful day.